Bro, I feel like the joke's always on me. Fun fact. Oh my god. I'm getting sun. Look at this. It's, uh, it's scary. I don't like it. Actually, I do. I love being tan. <laughs> Welcome in, people. Uh, Mr. V got first. Jalax got second. Rainer got third. Uh, yo, get that tan. I used, I used to tan really dark. When I lived in Virginia Beach, I was very, very dark. Um... I've been mostly pasty and pale since I've been a streamer because you don't get a lot of uh, UV from, from ring lights. What do you know, buddy? Yeah, I know. So the dog, the dog knows. Woozy Dice, welcome in. The dog knows that I have chicken strips here from a gas station because I was starving on my way back. Um, and he is going to be, uh, going to be under my feet the whole time. Okay. <sighs> Y'all remember yesterday I went to an estate sale and didn't really, uh, I didn't, I wasn't there early enough. It's like 10th in line and like a whole bunch of people got in there and snagged all the stuff that I was hoping to, to grab. Um, today, kind of the same, well, not the same thing, actually not at all. I managed to grab all the things that I was really wanting. Um, with one exception, it would have been nice to snag a GameCube finally. It's like the three things that I'm looking for right now. GameCube, Dreamcast, four things. N64 and Super Nintendo. Those are the three consoles I'm trying to find. Uh, and they are hard to get into state sales. Like it's a blood sport. So much a blood sport. Sounds like the dog found his shoe, great. <clears throat> um, you know what? That cabinet is bothering me. I'm gonna go close it because that bothers me. I could close the door, but the dog's up. And he'd be able to hear what he's doing and he's destroying the house. Gotta, uh, you know, pretend like I give a shit. <laughs> uh, welcome in, Woozy Dice. I know, I know I said welcome, but I mean it. I mean it, welcome in. Uh, so I snagged some really cool stuff today that I am pumped about. Super pumped. So we're going to break out the uh, the unboxing camera arm that we set up yesterday and go through all of this. I almost made, if you know, if I didn't have a uh, little acre on the schedule, I could have almost put like to be determined because we might play something from the box. We can't go super long on this stream today because if at the latest three o'clock um i've gotta break off eat if i'm hungry i guess i'm eating now but um but i need to uh to set up for me and free needles doing news show which is going to be at four o'clock tonight because well earlier the better he's a yeast dish coaster not a west coaster that's all i really know yo i'm pumped i'm pumped i'm pumped about this box so I just, I grabbed things um, and, and spent a significant amount of money um, on a massive haul of computer stuff. Um, gotta get the magnets off here. We got a lot of floppy disks to go through. And, uh, you know, when you're, when you're trying to like lay claim to like boxes of things, you don't exactly have time to go through it. Um, so I did my best. I did my best. And there were quite a few, there were quite a few other people looking for the same stuff, but I snagged that box of floppy disks so hard. And uh, uh, then I dug through some CDs, found some good stuff, and I think I found all the manuals to everything. This, uh, the person, it doesn't sound like the people were deceased at this estate sale, it sounded like they were downsizing and trying to sell all this stuff and then turned it over to, to um, you know, whatever. Uh, but this was the person, fusion. This was a person who threw away all their big boxes and all their small boxes and only kept the manuals. But they did something wild. They did something wild. Yeah, I know, it's such a pain. They numbered and labeled envelopes full of game manuals. Like here is the uh, Quest for Glory 2. Um, so I took about maybe half the box of these guys um and what what is what is in here uh, which you can't really see 
is, I don't know, maybe 50 of these? Come on. Come on. There you go. Maybe 50 of these, um, these holders. And they're not, they're not illegal copies. These are the actual, uh, um, these are the actual floppy disks, just without the box. Um, so, man, man, crazy stuff. These are really nice, actually. I like these. Um, there were a couple blank ones, too, as I also grabbed them. I've never seen little books for, for floppy disks like this before. No, um, they're very cool. And there are a lot in here. Uh, there's also a whole other bag of stuff and whatnot. Uh, man, I don't even know where to start, but Retro Unique. Buddy, come on. Let's, uh, let's start with this stuff. We'll save the floppy disks for last. How about that? We're going to be doing this for like an hour and a half. Uh, first up, $5. I hope you have all the correct pens. Um, this is a game port joystick. It's only got a couple pins. It's kind of crazy. This is uh, Flight 6 CH products. Yeah, CH products. This is different than the one that I have. The one that I have has like a T handle with three buttons here. Um, this is the one with like the really thin, nice click button, uh, which is nice because these guys, you know, I don't know. I haven't fired this one up yet, but these guys have a really nice and sensitive center point. So you're not jumping across the thing you want to aim at by like whatever because it's got this internal second axis right it's not like a spit spring trying to you know get to the middle spig spig i'm using words now <laughs> so that's super exciting <laughs> Trick me. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in, friend. Let me go let my dog out, and maybe he'll chill. He's back there, like, yelling. I just got him up from his nap, because I just walked back in the door. So yeah, that, that CH Products joystick is gonna be uh, gonna be a nice addition to the Quadland setup. Gondolarian, so good to see you, friend. Welcome in. Two days in a row. Two days in a row. We're lucky. <clears throat> All right. There were a lot of, of DVD, CD-ROM, and floppy disk drives. I only grabbed one of them because they were five dollars each. Um, and I found one that had it was black with a black faceplate, which can probably end up in one of the Quadland computers. Pretty happy about that. Um, I may... So, everything was full price today. So it was like, get things before other people got them. But if I go, if I were to go back tomorrow, um, everything's half price. And maybe if any of the, like, CD-ROM drives and stuff like that were still there, I could just make an offer on like a whole box of them. We'll see. They probably won't go anywhere, but I just grabbed the one that I knew I would use. They had, they had so many cables. And I mean, cables everywhere. Um, I was pretty loaded up, right? Uh, I was pretty loaded up, so I only grabbed two cables and maybe I'll go back later this weekend. Um, I lied. I got three cables, and they're all VGA. Um, this one's this one's male to male. This one's male to female, so like a standard one. Um, this one is yeah. So these guys these guys can be used as extension cables, um, which may come in very handy around here. Pretty. Handy. <clears throat> Let's switch cameras.
Thanks. Thanks, sorry. I forgot about that. I keep pressing the button that goes to the wrong thing. <clears throat> because because uh, you're doing something... Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Yeah, thanks Thanks for letting me know. Um, I did not realize this was book three of Corandia. That's fine. Um, Dragon Lore, never heard of it. Um, might be cool. There was so many CD-ROMs. An insane amount of CD-ROMs. Um, I did not grab them all. Uh, they were actually like five dollars a piece which is um ridiculously expensive uh for loose cd roms without their booklets um but i grabbed the ones i grabbed the ones that were games i've been looking for uh degeneration been looking for that for a while virtual reality meets action adventure uh quest for glory shadows of darkness from sierra shadowcaster Origin Systems. The Ultimate Doom! Actually really happy to, to find this. This is, this is great. Nice clean disc for Ultimate Doom. Did not have a disc copy of this, believe it or not. I have it installed on things, but, you know. Here is, um... I didn't know what this was. Could be terrible, could be great. I'd never heard of it. Um, it's called Microcosm. Here, I gotta find that camera. From Psygnosis. So I grabbed that. Oh, oh, I did not see this. Okay. I grabbed this thinking it was all of Quake 1. Uh, but apparently there's a sticker on it that says Episode 1 Shareware. I got, I got swindled. What is in here then? This really seems too nice for shareware. Like, let's be honest. It's got like a full manual. How... How do you put this much production into a shareware episode? Shareware discs included the music. Oh, interesting. Hey, Stock, welcome in. Of Q1. Yeah? This doesn't say anything about it being shareware on the back. I wonder... I can't tell. I can't tell if that sticker was part of this. Like, we'll find out. We'll install it. We'll find out. Um, Gold Edition Ghost Recon. There you go. Game of the Year Edition. Fuck. This one is missing this one. Oh, look. Actually, no. Oh, this works out great. Um, because I have the regular Ghost Recon disc. This has both expansions, Island Thunder and Desert Siege. That works out really well, actually. That should work out great. Found a disc for Betrayal of Krondor. Uh, which is awesome. Half-Life Blue Shift did not have a disc of this. There's something else in here. This one feels heavier. This is a really heavy insert. <clears throat> some game called Iron Helix, which looks like it's some kind of, like... Gunship? Some kind? Spectrum Holobyte? I don't know anything about this one. Never heard of it. Iron Helix. Windows CD-ROM. 1993. Sounds awesome. Schism. The Mysterious Journey. This one... Oh, hold on. Did we just play this recently? Is this one of the games that I have in box? It's not. Did we play Schism? Now that I look at the screenshots, this seem real, it seems really familiar. Everyone's playing the new Final Fantasy game, so she... Yeah, exactly. Several exploration attempts. Our league has failed. Previous exploration teams found unusual. I think we did play this. It's an on-the-rail shooter with FMV rated good for its graphics, but mediocre game. That sounds awesome. That actually sounds exactly like the one. Hey, Dan Van Dam, welcome in. Uh, here's the Rainbow Six Covert Optics Essentials. Super saving. I wonder... Nine new levels. Okay, so this is not like a shareware version. Um, disc one, disc... Wow, there's two discs. Cool. Yo, stay tuned, Dan. I, I got great stuff. Um, Platinum Opposing Forces. See, here's the thing, y'all. 
I actually have the box set that all these came in, but I loaned out my disc back in high school and never got them back. Um, I should have grabbed I should have grabbed more of them, but I already had a copy of Half Life, so I didn't get it, and I didn't get Team Fortress Classic. Uh, but I do I do have the box and manual for these, right? Oh, but this 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 particular collection does not include um, uh, Blue Shift. There's an advertisement for Blue Shift. But yeah, so the Platinum Collection, the Green Disc, that's part of this. Yo, it's I yesterday Gondolier and I did not get luck. It's it's about getting there before everybody else. Unfortunately, you gotta beat the scalpers and the uh, the resellers. I will tell you all this, I did make a friend today. Blue Shift was new, yeah, it was newer than that box. I did make a cool friend today. Um, traded phone numbers, and hopefully we can be, uh... Um... Estate sale buddies. Battle for Naboo. Which I'm pretty sure is the one I did. No, I did have it. It's the other one I didn't have. Oh, well. Commander Blood. Um, I've heard this name. This is a Mindscape game. Uh, so it's been on my radar. This was interesting. Um, twin pack, two complete games. Well, it looks like complete games of a whole bunch of other things, but this is a PC version of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Sh Sh Shining Force, Sonic Spinball, Columns, Altered Beast, something else maybe more commander blood's pretty fun did i watch you play that um sonic the hedgehog 2 comic zone flicky kid chameleon shining force vector oh fucking vector man's on here yo we might have to fire this up today what the hell did i even see but yeah these are all like Yeah, these are Windows 95, 98 versions of Sega games, like, like, Sega exclusive games. It's kind of wild, right? So I don't know, whenever this came out, I don't know if this is like an emulator or, or what it is. Super curious about that. Uh, Lands of Lore, Throne of Chaos. Yeah, I wonder how they run too. I would have loved for the boxes of anything. Um, IF-22, Disc 1 and Disc 2. Yeah. Good. Hold on. F-22 Lightning's the one I have. Diamond Wall me. Okay, this is the one I did not have. Good. Good, good. Uh, here's a copy of Loom. Alien Logic. Um, from SSI. I, uh, Sky Realms of the Journal Adventure Alien Logic. Don't know anything about it. You're playing that now? Which one? Loom or IFF or Lands of Lore? You're probably playing Lands of Lore. That sounds like a Gondolarian game. Um, and check this out. Heretic, Shadow of the Serpent Riders. Uh, so this should be the game with all of its expansions, if I remember correctly. If it has the title and it was for sale, this should have all the expansions. Yeah, Lands of Lore, nice. Actually, pretty good looking shape. I don't, I never had, I don't have a box for this, but now I've got a disc. That's cool. Well, I'll leave that one out because I kind of want to check that out. But yeah, look at the stack of CDs is great. This is nothing compared to the floppy discs. So we're gonna get to those floppy discs. Lots of, lots of really cool stuff. Okay, let's... Okay. <clears throat> so, he left part of the box for this, um, but here's that copy of Homeworld that we were looking at. There's a CD key. Um, and apparently he left the... 
the recommended specs. Uh, well, I think this is the Homeworld soundtrack. I think that's the Homeworld soundtrack. Yeah, something says battle. This is cool. Didn't expect that. Uh, I see a really nice historical and technical briefing, and the strategy guide is in here too, which is great. So maybe I can locate like a box only for there, the reference card. Nice. Yeah, maybe I can lo locate a box only card for this particular title. Um, and then I'll have a place for it. Probably do that a bit cheaper, huh? Cool, right? Oh, yeah, let me hold it in real quick. Where'd you go bury it, huh? Did you bury that thing somewhere? Huh. And with that, I'm going to take a bite of a chicken strip before they get too cold to eat. For a gas station, these are like solid chicken strips, though. I should have eaten before I went live. But damn it, I was too excited. But now I'm really hungry. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I was eyeballing this there. That's the EG for its 9600 GT. Um, and it was there, so I just threw it in the thing. $15 or whatever. This will probably be a very solid... Ew. Ew. Wait, dust bunnies everywhere. This will probably be a solid card for one of the future Windows XP machines. Oh. That fan is loud. I can hear that from here. These were interesting. So they had a lot of older video cards. <clears throat> Nothing really blows your mind. There was like an S3 Verge and there was another guy that was digging through them and he took, he took the one that I was super interested in. Um, but you know, these got left behind, which were interesting. Um, so these are, this is a Matrox. I need to, I you know, they were only like, what were they, three to five dollars a piece. Um, but these guys have like a video pass through, making them like, apparently they're really good um, and crisp to work with a Voodoo that needs a pass through, like a Voodoo 1 or 2 or whatever. Um, so I grabbed the three of them that were there, not knowing a ton about them. Uh, but here's the 1996 Matrox. Um, so hopefully... <clears throat> PCI Matrox, yeah, the PCI. It was good. I want them to be PCI. If the, the Voodoo's are going to be AGP or whatever. So hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully I can make these work. This one's identical to the other. Yeah, these two, these two are identical. Yeah. Well, they have different part numbers, interestingly. Let's find out. This one's the odd one out. I don't, I don't really know what this, the difference is on this one. It's 1997. This is a newer Matrox. Interesting. Okay.
I should have set the tag to retro today, but I didn't. Let me do that now. <clears throat> there we go. So yeah, that's fun. All right. I don't think we're gonna open all of these. Um, we're gonna we're gonna peruse through them and open one or two. Uh, but these are where the guy is st storing his manuals for all the boxes he destroyed. Um, here is uh, King's Quest IV. Uh, so in here is a booklet from Roberta Williams, I guess. Oh, it's like a it's like the backstory thing. So probably. Probably has the things that you need for um, the DRM or the security check, right? <sighs> so some of these, some of these, I'm gonna keep. Some of them may find their find homes with other people on Twitch um, in the community. Yeah, here's the one for Shadowcaster, which we got. This FLA, I hadn't grabbed that. Lemmings, I'm hoping, is in my, um, thing. Oh, yeah, Spear of Destiny. Pretty exciting. I'd still kill for a box of Spear of Destiny and Wolfenstein 3D. Yeah, here's the booklet to Pygnosis of Lemmings. How I'm gonna manage to sort all of these is gonna be really something. Man, this one... There's the Lands of Lore manual. This one's thick. This one's heavy. It's a hint book, install instructions. Yeah, it's everything that would be in the box. Um, so if I find a box that isn't complete, good. Testing, you fail. <laughs> The hint book for Spear of Destiny. Oh my god, it has maps? Look at that. It's got maps in it. That's great. That's great. That's cool. <sighs> Lands of Lore. Redstorm Rye did not grab that one. Internet's messing up. There's Corandia. Doom 2. Ultimate Doom. Four Crystals. I don't think I don't know if I grabbed that one or not. King's Quest. Uh, Inherit the Earth. I'm not sure what it is, but I think it's in my uh I think it's in my floppies. Quest for Glory. Stargon 4. Lore of the Temptress. Um, it's pretty cool. The Prophecy, I think that's Wing Commander. Maybe it's something different. Chessmaster 4000. I know that one's in there. Seventh guess. Uh, Monkey Island Manual. Nice to have. Altered Destiny. Falcon 3.0. Yeah, but all these, all these are manuals. All right. Let me see if I can do this without fucking. Remember when I said there was a lot of floppy disks? Not joke. Oh, and I grabbed this. I grabbed this. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. The AMD Athlon 64 5000 plus. Um, Five dollars. I should have grabbed more, uh, but yeah, it's in there. Hey, buddy, leave it. Thank you. I should have grabbed more, but this is the one I got. We'll build something with that at some point. Uh, let's see. So this one's marked as disc one of seven, five of seven. Here's six of seven, seven of seven. Okay. All right, here is an install, install floppies for Windows 3.1. All right, so these are, these are bootlegger copy. Still pretty happy about that. Uh, this one's got True Mouse. mouse backup pop-up menus mouse draw interesting 
for you. Oh, here's the Falcon 3.1. Four of four are in here. <clears throat> so we looked at these a second ago, but there's Indianapolis 500 at the simulation. This just says disc one, which is interesting. This guy was really good at, at label and stuff. That'd be fun to run. Yeah, well, I have computers for it. I have I have those 386s. Uh, but Falcon 3.1, man, this is this really, really bringing back some memories for me. Did we switch the category to retro? We did, okay. Good. So that. Um, these were all empty. I just grabbed them. I think, yeah, they were still like $3, which is kind of annoying. Oh, here's Inherit the Earth. Great, okay. We'll move these to the side. Here's Inherit the Earth. I don't know what that game is. Um, it looks... Quest for the Orb. New World Computing. And it's gotta be some kind of RPG. Uh, but we have the manual for it, right? Seems like we probably have all the discs. It didn't say otherwise. Huh. There was some stuff in here I should have tossed out and saved myself, like, three dollars. Inherit the Earth. Be there. Um, here's Hexen, seven discs. Ultimate Domain and Diablos. Damn, I left the Ultimate Domain manual there at the place. Uh, patch files from Sierra. There's See, here's the Hexen floppy disks, which is pretty cool. I have a CD-ROM version of Hexen, so I can put these with that. Um, Ultimate Domain. I don't know what this patch file is for. Inherit the Earth is a point and click? That sounds pretty rad. Maybe if I go back there, I'll grab the manuals that I didn't get. Wait, did I pick? Hold on. I don't think I got... I did. I have Inherit the Earth. Uh, I can't believe all of these are numbered. It's crazy. As a giant box person. Uh -huh. Let's take a look here. Yo! This kind of reminds me, you guys remember, like, the, the animated Robin Hood? Huh. Is this, like, the meek, the meek or the forest shall inherit the earth kind of thing? This seems pretty cool, man. Got General Mitty. 1993, so it's probably, probably work on my CM32L. Oh, that's cool. I may, yeah, I don't know how to sort these with their manuals, to be totally honest. Uh, let's see, Hex and Seven Discs. Hold on. Do you have two copies of Hex in here? Oh, oh. Three, four, oh, okay, okay. This is the rest of the copy, damn, okay. We'll have to install it from disc at some point, just for fun. Um, yeah. Huh. My business cards. Maybe we should use this to make myself some business cards. Oh my god! It's Mavis Beach. Mavis Bacon teaches tapping. Um, here's three discs of Mavis Beacon teaches typing. Great for a one hour stream, not so much for a full playthrough. Awesome. Um, this we should absolutely do. This thing's kind of infamous a little bit. I think LGR did a video on it um, at one point. The business card thing's not in here. I was thinking to myself that I need like a business card for like the streaming thing that has the you know Twitch address on it. Uh, until I make an actual website for it. Uh, all right. Lure of the Temptress. There's Sargon. This one and two. Lure of the Temptress. Temptress. Um. This guy and game this. Well, hopefully, hopefully that's not. This is the game I want to play. Um, another point-and-click adventure game. It's actually it's a free game on GOG, but the GOG version doesn't run in DOS. Ah, there's a um, uh, Falcon 3.1 backup discs. PC Sig Encyclopedia. I don't know what that is. PC Sig Library. This one of five. Okay. Huh. 
Here's Alter Destiny from Accolade. I don't know anything about this game, but apparently it supports VGA, EGA, CGA, MCGA, Handy 16 Color. Um, IBM PC, so it should work. It should work. Half of these have like open, so every time I pick one of them up, they dump out. Quest for Glory 1. Alright, these look like well, these look like well-maintained bootlegs here. Um, they're in like little protective sleeves too, that's cool. Uh, Norton Antivirus, there's nothing in here. This is interesting, here's works for Windows 2.0. Um, yeah. I don't know what all works included. I'm assuming like word processor and like a spreadsheet maybe. Um, Gateway fax works. Gateway bus master. Yeah. See, some of these I probably should have pulled out. Let's see if they have any floppy disks. They usually don't. It's rare. Salvation Army did for a while though. Um, Alright, so it's King's Quest 5. I skipped the Hand of Fate manual. I just saw that. Okay, there you go. There's your Sierra. I love that these aren't all like copies. Quest of Camelot. Conquest of Camelot. Is this that Robin Hood game? Is that the Conquest of Camelot? Search for the Holy Grail. No, it's not something else. Huh. Daughter Serpents. Six. I don't know what that is. Uh. Your. Yerbius Twinian. The Sierra game. Twinian box version. Yerbius box. Oh, it's two different games. I don't know what either of these things are. That's actually pretty fascinating. That was, thank you. Thank you, Jalax. That's the one I was thinking of. Yep. Alpha B, Hero Gold, Donald's Alphabet Chase, and Buzz Balls. The fuck? What's Donald's help? This is a Disney thing. Oh, like Donald Duck, maybe? Freaking Funky Fuzzballs by In Courier. Surtex Software. Hero of Gold. This is from GT. I don't know what that is. Oh my fuck. What is that? That says Chef Boy RD, though. I have a Chef Boy RD floppy disk that has something on it. ABC? Hold on. Alpha B. Uh, you want to see? You guys want to see what this is? All right. Do you want to see right now? Do we need to? Do we need to take the detour over to the computer and find out right now? Give me a second. I will get a computer powered up. Uh, while it's doing doing that, I'm gonna have some more of this chicken. Yeah, me too, I'm really curious. <clears throat> Hang on a second, I need to fix this.
This this disc is like the same color. I know, buddy. I know. The disc is like the same color as my uh, this computer case is. Okay. We'll do it in DOS. Yeah, love you too, buddy. We'll do it in DOS. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know where that wallpaper came from. Some, probably Microsoft Plus, maybe? All right, it's going to A, B, C, one, two, three. I don't really. I don't have a, yeah, I don't have a way to change that. You guys can hear me okay, right? You guys can hear me, right? Yeah, okay, good. Mm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just saw that it was, um, we'll do it in DOS, Bob Red, if anyone says that. I'm going to try to reset the, the capture again. I don't know why. It's off-centered. It shouldn't be. I don't understand why this one's off the edge. Um, I was trying to fix that. Because it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be at all. <clears throat> it's actually making me a little nervous. But we'll, uh... We'll do this for now. Let's see what happens here. I don't know why it's off the edge. It's not an issue we've had before. You know? <clears throat> it's not an issue we've had before. It's from the chef. Yeah. Uh, uh, one, two, three to run, it says. One, two, three. All right, here we go. Wow, this this looks really good, actually. Um, okay. I'm impressed with the color palette here. You, me, 
Let's learn our ABCs. What letter is this? Find it on the keyboard now. That's right. Click on the picture that begins with this letter now. Yo yo. That's right. What letter is this? Find it on the keyboard now. That's right. Click on the picture that begins with this letter now. That's right. What letter is this? Find it on the keyboard now. It looks to Hey, big fatty, welcome back. To you have back to the basics. We just found a Chef Boyardee floppy disk in an estate sale. Oh my god, that's annoying. That's right. <clears throat> Click on the picture that begins with this letter now. We're gonna get to level two. Fuck. That's not it. Try again. Damn it, ball mouse, you got me. That's right. What letter is this? Find it on the keyboard now. Yeah, yeah, it's a Chef Boy RD floppy disk. That's right. Click Not joking. That Here. Begins with this letter now. Chef Boy RD. Chef Boy R puke. The coward skipped and I know. <laughs> I know. That's right. What letter is this? <clears throat> Find it on the keyboard now. That's right. Click on the picture that begins with this letter now. I like how everything is like the error sound. That's it's right. the error sound what in Windows. This? Find it on the keyboard now. That's right. Click <clears throat> on the picture that begins with this letter now. Well, they don't repeat any letters. That's interesting. That's right. Umbrella. What letter is this? Find it on the Air sound. Good job. Yeah. I know, right? You love horse meat in a can. Yikes. Same crap. Ta Taco Bell uses. That's right. Click Y'all getting game sound, right? Begins with this letter now. <sighs> Maybe a little too much. That's right. What letter is this? Oh, Find some. it on the keyboard now. This last one. That's right. Click on the picture that begins with this letter now. Finally, we get to click the cat. That's right. Good job. You finished. Wait, what? That's it? All right, hold on. Hold on. All right, hang on. We have the option to print. <clears throat> we have the option to print. We're going to do it. Oh, noise suppression is off. Good. Okay, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> let's do this. All the budget went into the background. I can't believe it took so long to install that. That, uh, and that's all it was, right? <clears throat> okay, you should just be hearing me through the phone now. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, you're okay, buddy. Yeah, don't worry about that sound. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> I don't know how this is gonna print on the dot matrix, but we're gonna find out. Y'all ready? I'm printing print. Gotta hope hook this cable up. How to print. Click accessories icon and went the file will name PCX. Oh, we have to go into Windows. Okay. 
Okay. I guess we'll do that then. <clears throat> Hopefully Windows boots back up. Might have to do a restart here. Sometimes it gets hung. Like now! Damn it, I really want to print this. Our last boss was fiendish? I know, right? Yeah, retro ASMR with that printer. That's what I'm trying to do, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> that's what I'm trying to do. It's been a long time. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's hooked up to the computer. That's what I tried to do anyways. It's got this... It's good this got a 1.1 patch. Man, I... <laughs> oh no, did it actually say version 1.1? 1 .1? 1997 that came out. 1997 Brady or brand games. <clears throat> I know that camera's probably super blurry. Let's see if we got something that'll actually let me let me open it and print it. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I know, so how is this gonna come out on a dot matrix? This is oh no. Okay, this is gonna be a disaster. This is gonna be a disaster. I have I have zero faith. I have zero faith that this it's is gonna, gonna work. work. Alright, right, so well, it's the, the IBM, IBM, the IBM, IBM PS1, PS1. Click, click in OK. Allegedly it went. <clears throat> I don't know what, what you're doing. doing. What, what are you doing? doing? What are you, what are you doing? doing? Oh, oh my god. god. It's, it's gonna, gonna do it. it. It's, it's gonna, gonna print it. it. This, this is, is gonna, gonna be magnificent. Look, 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 the shadow and stuff. This, this is, is gonna, gonna be incredible. incredible. It's, it's happening. Double audio, audio gotcha. gotcha. <clears throat> Man. I'm really... It looks like there wasn't ink in the first one here. Well, maybe that's the sunflower. Welcome in, Apple. Yeah, rip printer, exactly. <clears throat> oh my god, we're gonna be here forever. Forever. Let me, I need a stand. If we're gonna do this, I need a phone stand. That's just, that's just the thing I need. Let me, let me go find one. We'll leave one on it. I just have to go dig one out over here. <clears throat> um, I think I can make, I think I can make this one work. We'll just slap one of these guys on it here. Maybe, maybe this one's the one it's made for. Hang on a second, I need both hands. <sighs> okay. There you go, selfie stick attached to like pop out legs. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? He doesn't know what to make of this noise here. Hey, Dragon Jim. We're making progress. We're making progress. I know, I know. It's not, it's gonna be really loud. I just need my hands for a second. Thank you. 
Well, it's, it's gonna be awkward. Because of the way I got a mail it. But it'll work. This'll work. Okay. There we go, Artie on his ABCs. <clears throat> Some sort of memory chip, yeah they do. Um, the memory chips for this one I think are accessible. Oh, 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 let's not do that right now, this has to come up here. Uh, I think they're accessible on this panel right here. Uh, yeah, you guys can see that. Okay. I'm gonna shrink this a bit. centered the way I had it, but the DOS prompt was not. That's kind of upsetting. Weird. <clears throat> the beat was too <laughs> Thanks for the blue lights. You can see them over here. Retro, do not even think about chewing on power supply cords. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw him chewing on those power cords? Oh, you Hoover, don't do that. You don't do that. You don't do that. <sighs> Love you, buddy. What kind of trouble have you been into? Y'all didn't see it. He definitely like, put his mouth around one of the one of the Molex connectors. I seen it. I seen it in the camera. Look at the floppy leg. Got a little floppy leg. Hey Sakura, welcome in. <clears throat> we uh we we pulled out a, a Chef Boy RD floppy disk. Um, and now we're printing out my certificate of doing the only level in the game. Oh. It's not just you, it's because my phone is the microphone right now. <clears throat> I was just playing with the dog anyway, it's not super important. <laughs> we're enjoying some of that. Frame it and hang it like some diploma? I will, thank you. We're enjoying some, some dot matrix printer uh, ASMR right now. <clears throat> this guy right here is probably 158 degrees Fahrenheit right now. This thing gets smoldering hot. There's actually a temperature label, label on the back of it. Like it starts to smell like a burning electronic shop. Yo, Slim Cali, you'll take this ASMR for the memories of nothing else. There you go, thank you. I spilled gasoline on my shoe, gassing up my car this afternoon. Um, and I didn't really smell it till like just now. Super annoying, I'll probably eat it forever. Thanks, Sakura. When's your next stream? Uh, everybody, when's your next stream? Only wait for this. Yeah, I started, yeah, I did. I showed off back at the beginning of the VOD, Sakura. I showed off a bunch of it, and we're still going through the giant box of floppy disks, because I snagged that big box of floppy disks um, and a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'll go through it real quick um, before we get to today's game. <clears throat> My wife just checked the bank account. What was the message I said to my wife? I sent a text message. Um, you better lube up the bank account. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man, it's it's not as it's not as big as I was hoping it was. But there's my certificate. There's my certificate. Man, I love this printer so fucking much. So much. Shout out to Nate the Adventurer for um, giving the printer to me, donating it, so that I can enjoy the, the ASMR nightmare and share it with y'all. <clears throat> um, so for those that missed it, we, we got this for completing this, uh, which is a Chef Boy RD ABC single level um, keyboard test. We had to we had to stop everything we were doing and install it. Cause what the fuck? Because what the fuck? He's a good boy. That's a good boy. Alright. Let me. Mute the mute mute the microphone. This microphone back on. All right, and going back to work. Sounds good. Um, and we're back here. And we're back here. <clears throat> All right. So that was the Chef Boy R Boy RD one. I can't believe we had to install it. I can't believe we had to install it to do that. That's the crazy part, right? Uh, what else is in here? Donald's Alphabet Chase from Disney, uh, Freaking Funky Fuzzballs, and Hero Gold. I don't know what Hero Gold is, but PT published it, so who knows? That was sure something, huh? All right, here we go. Here we go. We found uh, King's Quest 9 discs, King's Quest 6, 9 discs, sorry, so here's the other half of that, um, but this also has 6, uh, this one also has Lemmings, I have a copy of Lemmings, a real copy of Lemmings, uh, for IBM, for Psygnosis, which is awesome! They did a really good job of sorting stuff. Oh, they are! Sacra! They are original discs. Right, here we go. Uh, MS-DOS 6.0. AMD motherboard. Uh, not really sure. Device drivers. <clears throat> Not a copy of MS Dots. Um, okay, it's King's Quest. Put you in here. Yeah, Mobo drivers apparently. Yeah, I don't know what. I still don't know what Hand of Fate is. I haven't run across that game. Uh, but here's more Sargon discs. Oh, there's an update. An update disc. Hand of Fate was a Westwood Studio game. Interesting. Virgin Interactive. Sargon 4 update. Yeah, I like RAM, flash RAM, hard drive. Apparently. 10 discs it took for Inca, whatever this is. Never heard of this one. Another Sierra game, Inca. I don't know if I've got the manual for that one or not. Uh, prophecy. What is the prophecy? The Prophecy, okay, so it's not Wing Commander Prophecy. This is something else. Um, disc 5. I think they're all just in this one. <clears throat> and here's King's Quest 6. Way more King's Quest 6 stuff. Oh, these are his copies. So he made... Is it Warlock the Prophecy? I don't think it's Warlock. Yeah, Wing Commander Prophecy. That was a CD-ROM game, wasn't it? Okay. Hey, yo, Monopoly DOS. That's cool.
Yeah, it was like five CDs. Kings. Oh, look at there. It's Monolo Mon blah, blah, blah. Monopoly Deluxe on high density. <laughs> Melissa Dorazio. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, friend. I think I know who you are, and it was really cool to meet you. Yeah, cool. Monopoly? That's actually, you know what? If this is probably like a multiplayer game, needs more cowbell. Insert disc three for park place. Um, same. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Melissa. Melissa was a, a buddy I made at the estate sale this morning. Um, turns out we have a lot of similar interests. She's a really cool person. <clears throat> so big shout out to her for making the uh, the hour hour and a half wait uh, <laughs> a lot less uh, uh, boring. What's Prophecy of Shadow? I'm so excited that all of these are real, real discs. The Four Crystals of Trezair. Prophecy of Shadow has some nice labels, doesn't it? And it comes on, like, different colored discs. Uh, Gondolarians, yet to go to school. Uh, for learning all this stuff. Maybe next year. Oh, you guys are still talking about the RAM. What's when checking? For what windows would this be checking it? Eighty-eight to ninety-five. I'm going to guess that this is for like Windows three point one one, huh? Um, there's a disc one. You know, I wonder what happened to his disc one that he made a copy. <clears throat> also, I noticed that there's just X-Wing. Oh man, look at that. The uh, the adhesive on this has kind of given up the ghost and it's see seeping through. So all five discs for X-Wing. Uh, I wonder what Page Maker. Seventeen discs, Page Maker. Is this like a? Oh, it's Adobe Page Maker. X-Wing is so good and so hard. We're gonna be going through the X-Wing games some point man 11 floppy disks i want so windows i wonder if this is uh 1992 so probably windows 3.1 huh we'll install it at some point see what we can do with it i'm not sure what kind of software it is so that'll be a nice surprise <clears throat> there is nice these may actually come in handy these are all labeled Patrick. Uh, CD? Here's, oh, cool. So here's a CD-ROM installation disc uh, for, for creative um, CD-ROMs, I think. There's a text-to-speech disc one. This is the Sound Blaster disc one, too. This is the Sound Blaster 16. This may actually come in useful for me. Audio drivers are gold for DOS. Yeah. They are. They are. Absolutely. Um, there's more Hand of Fate. This is Quest for Glory 1 and a game called Lost in Time? Or... Lost in Time... Lit CD. This is this is the Lit CD. Uh, Quest for Glory. So you want to be a hero. Um, patch files. Type readme. I don't know what lit is. Uh, or Lost in Time. Does anybody know what that game is? I don't think it's related to this Quest for Glory disc. But it also looks like it's just a patch file. Also, you know what I don't see in here? I, I don't see Wolfenstein Spear of Destiny, so I just have the manuals. There's Altered Destiny. They're for controllers. Too. Oh, those drivers? Yeah. yeah. Altered Destiny is some accolade thing. 
a lot of point yeah, it is it is oh uh, which is good um in my collection um i have fewer of those than i would like <clears throat> but yeah inherit the earth hexen on discs what this is one hell of a good this was a good haul today Totally makes up for, for missing out on everything yesterday, being pumped about it. Um, real quick, let me move this, and I'll go through the stuff that we got. Um, the other stuff. And then we're going to play a game. Go ready to play a game. Uh, so, Sakura. I know we were talking about these yesterday, but I did end up snagging that. Um, the 9600 GT. Which sounds like it probably needs a fan replace, but whatever. $15. Same devs as Inca? Adventure Game Sierra Publishing? Yeah, I think it sounds like it might need a new bearing, but we'll see. So I grabbed these. I grabbed three of these. Um, these are Matrox cards. Uh, which, you know, have the pass-through, which should be good for... Um, which should be good for working with uh, uh, the Voodoo. So I grabbed I grabbed the three of these that were sitting there. EVGA, they don't. Oh, this one. Oh, that's right. They don't anymore. Because Nvidia changed the way they did things, and it was pretty dumb. But yeah, I grabbed I grabbed three of these. I think they will come in useful. I'm hoping they will. Um, I'm just gonna run through everything real quick and then we're gonna play the game. Um, I found like the inner box liner of Homeworld, um, which also contains the manual and the strategy guide, but it also has the soundtrack CD, which is really cool. They do have RAM expansion slots, I saw that. Um, I did snag that AMD Athlon 64 5000 plus. Um, maybe we can do something with that. I know very little about this except somebody was excited about it and it was $5 so I grabbed it. It looks like there is one bent pen. So maybe. It's a dual core. What does it say? It says AMD Athlon 64X2. Um, I'll hold it up. You get a screen cap. Alright, Gondolarian. Hey, take care, buddy. You had one of these back in the day? There's a long number on it. I'll let you get a screenshot. There you go, get your screenshot. Then I'm gonna lower my arms because they hurt. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I grabbed it. There were a couple other processors, but kind of whatever. Uh, but I snagged that one because it looked interesting. Maybe we can build something out of it at some point. This was super interesting. This, these Sega packs are all like PC ports of like Sonic 2, Vector Man, Sonic Spinball Columns, Altered Beast. Uh, yeah, I wasn't going to pass that up. Pretty crazy. I don't know if these are all like emulated for Windows 95 or, or what the deal is, or if they're actual ports. We'll find out. Oh my. All right, here's the giant stack of CD-ROM games. Uh, a 5,000 plus? Yeah, what you got? <laughs> hey, Telesty, welcome in. Thanks for the lurk. Iron Helix. CPU world. Oh, it has MMX on it, huh? Super 
Stuck in endless work calls? Hey, thank you. I'm gonna bookmark this. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Iron Helix, never heard of it. Betrayal of Crondor. Um, the expansion packs to Ghost Recon, the original disc is not there. Possibly a full version of Quake, maybe the Shareware episode? I don't know. Um, a game called Microcosm. Ultimate Doom. You were just talking about that a couple weeks ago? Yeah, nice Ultimate Doom here. Shadowcaster? Quest for Glory Shadows of Darkness? Degeneration. Dragon Lore. Ferrandia Book 3. Uh, full version of Heretic Shadow of the Serpent Riders with a manual. Alien Logic. Loom. Disc 1 and 2 of IF-22. Land of Lore, Throne of Chaos. <clears throat> Lands of Lore. Commander Blood. Battle for Naboo. I thought it was the other one that I didn't have, but I already have that, whatever. Uh, Half-Life Blue Shift. Lost my copy of that years ago. Half-Life Opposing Force, the same story. Uh, Rainbow Six Covert Ops Essentials, more missions, um, and Schism, The Mysterious Journey, which I think we played, but I'm not, I think I played this, uh, oh, I probably played this on the GOG, I bet it's installed in the Windows XP machine. Anyways, I got the disc for it now. Um, and since this guy, uh, the guy who previously owned all this stuff, threw away all his boxes, I did grab. I did grab every relevant package of um, manuals that I could find, um, which were all. There were there was there was like maybe three times this amount. Um, but yeah, I grabbed the manuals for almost everything. I, I don't know where this was. Spear of Destiny. I didn't find that. I would have really liked to have had that. Um, also didn't see Red Storm Rising, or I missed it. There's the the Lands of Lore manual. Look at that real quick. Yeah, there you go. Order form. Throne of Chaos. But yeah, like, everything's here except for the box. Um, so this guy, you know, aside from just, you know, getting rid of his boxes, kept things in really good shape. Oh, that's cool. Neat. Neat! <clears throat> I have no idea what I'm gonna do to, to sort all this out with the discs and everything being loose. It's just gonna have to be in, like, a filing box, honestly. Cool stuff, though. But yeah, that was a significant amount of money in the last two days <laughs> that I've put down at estate sales. Uh, but all those games on floppy disks, that's, that's huge. I'm happy about that. Vanilla envelopes, I know, right? Wish they could have been boxes, but then I would have really been fighting. I was like maybe fifth person in on this estate sale. I, I, left, I left early. I sat out there for a bit. Hello? What the hell is that camera? Why are you doing that? Oh, my phone was on. Phone was on! Uh, so yeah. No, it was, it was fun. It was nice. Met some cool people. Uh, like Melissa, who popped in the chat here a little bit ago. Here is my magnetic case. Alright, who's ready to play a video game? The Little Acre is what we're playing today. For a little bit. That was a huge estate sale haul. I'm, I'm still kind of impressed with the whole thing. I don't need this anymore. Well, I'll leave it on.
Don't need my sunglasses anymore. Fun fact. I am so tired of being in the car. Like, be serious with y'all. It was... It's been grueling to, like, be in, like, Portland's traffic with a manual transmission. Uh, and, a, and an achy back. Uh, so another one on Amazon game. Of course I didn't install it ahead of time. Why would I do that? Get audio started. Like a pro? This looked like it might be a point-and-click adventure game. Which is kind of exciting. Uh, the 500 plus is a cut down version, so to speak, of the 5200, so it's noticeably slower, but still faster, comparable Intel CPU at the time. 116 watt. Oh, nice. You know, and if I wasn't, like, downgrading from a 5200, like, I wouldn't even notice, right? No, I need to, I'll find a motherboard for it. There's, like, there's, like, two kind of bent pins in it. I'm gonna have to take a close look at, like, I've never tried to bend a pin out on a... I'm on a processor. I'll probably talk to, like, Nate the Adventurer. Uh, yeah, AMD had a huge lead at the time. They really did. I didn't have great luck with them, unfortunately. So I've kind of been... I've kind of been an Intel person ever since, like, 2003, 2005. <clears throat> This mouse feels really swimmy in this game for some reason. Well, there's not much here in the way of settings, is there? I like the art style here. <laughs> Hello. You better move. sounds of Lily's gentle snores as they drifted across the bedroom loft. She was still fast asleep and I needed to keep it that way, or suffer the consequences. The creaky floorboards meant that the simple act of getting dressed will require a little ingenuity. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, shirt, dog, trousers. Sweater. Boots. Items, notes. I got a good feeling about this. My boots are nearby, but I need to put on my trousers first. Oh, I suppose. I suppose. <laughs> my trousers were just out of reach. Okay. Morning, Dougal. Dougal? Dougal, give me that stick, boy. Noink. I'm digging this. Huh? Yeah. What the fuck? Was like a whole fish and marmalade sandwich for me the day before. Why? I didn't have the heart to refuse, but I wasn't about to eat it. Was it in his pants? Wake her up and show her that I didn't eat the sandwich. Thanks. 
Boots, check. I think we're good. We need a sweater. Couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still calling it. Let's make her. Let's make her roll over. No. Hang on. Couldn't do anything about the sweater while Lily was still pulling it. Cuddling it. I was trying to get her on my clothes without leaving my bed to avoid waking her. And throwing a <laughs> stick at her was not going to <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. I freed myself. Ah, I knew that was going to be the thing. Still out of reach. I freed my sweater from Lily's clutches. But I'm still out of reach. Even with the stick, I couldn't reach that far. What do you want here? I should be able to get the trajectory right. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is great. This is great. I had to wait until his mouth was open. Any more rolling, and I'd see that sandwich again. Ah, Dougal was happily grazing on my sweater. <laughs> I've had better ideas. Have you, though? I had to wait until his mouth was open. How he get his mouth open? He wasn't gonna just let me take it. But maybe he'd be interested in the trick. Well, I'm trying that. Game. Any more rolling, and I'd see that sandwich again. Oh, I have to do it when his mouth is open. What the fuck is like? I'm okay with this. Nice stretch. <laughs> that was my cue to sneak out of there. I decided I'd cycle to the nearby town. Maybe I'd find someone willing to hire me. Maybe I'd find someone who knew where my dad had gone. But first, I had a few things to take care of. You tings. So, is this the brother then? Looking for his dad. I don't. I don't know any of the dynamic here. Did he say who Lily was? Also, who was the girl that came out of the portal from hell? Who's that lady? Did he just bang his head into the thing? Cooking utensils hung from the wall by the fire. For now, at least. Okay. I recently made Lily a small wooden sword so she'd have something else to swing around. Lily's dress was hanging from the line. I didn't need to take it down for her. She developed her own technique for that. It this is actually pretty delightful so far. It's it's kind of heartfelt at the moment. Like it's just uh, with with a good bit of humor here. I picked up the jug. I'd need water to make Lily's breakfast. Okay. I think you relocated so you won't be responsible for waking Lily. You and me both, buddy. I think you relocated. Oops. You and me both, buddy. The doors of the cupboard where we kept the dishes were tied closed. For all the good it did, I'm pretty sure Lily chewed through them last time. Arthur's room. This must be where his dad stays. <sighs> no! Dad. Yes. Where are you? What the hell? Arthur's machine? Dad made his own generator to power his workshop. As with his other inventions, he just refused to explain how it worked. It looked like there was something missing, but... I haven't figured out what. Oh, interesting. Apparently you put water in the funnel here? Oh god, look at all of these. I am dreading this. I am dreading having to solve this. It looked like something important was supposed to go in the slot. The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. I presume the machine wouldn't work without coolant. <clears throat> okay. There's a button here. Admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> That's cool. It looked like he had rifled through his belongings in a hurry. Either that, or Lily had been searching for clues. Didn't really stop to think where my dad got the mask or why he wanted it. I was pretty sure I could put it to good use, though. Okay. Lily left Sir Fuzzle Puff here a while ago with strict instructions to report to her immediately if he saw her ground. Sure, fine. Dad left his jacket behind. 
Hey Rush, welcome in. Work of making forget the little things like wearing a jacket outside or eating. I've never had that problem. No matter how much you play this, it's a fun game. Nice. I've never had that problem. No matter how busy I was. Let's go outside. <laughs> Taking into account Lily's willfulness, it was often easier to indulge her creativity than flat out ask her to do something. In this case, the gnome was a spy who informed me of when Lily wandered too far from Hey, I'd play anything I'd get my hands on. You should have seen the giant box of floppy disks I brought home from the estate sale at the beginning of the stream. Lots of point and click adventures in there. I'd play anything. My father had notions of turning to farming when he left his job. He never could leave science behind. My trusty bicycle was my main method of transport, and definitely didn't require any modifications, despite what my father said. <laughs> the letterbox. Well, I have to read this part? Come on now. Thank you for your application to the position of repair clerk in Boyle and Sons, at Boyle and Sons. Um, I appreciate your consideration, but regrettably I've decided not to offer you a position at this time. While I have no doubt someone with your military engineering experience would be Aiden. Is that me? The dad was somebody? Am I Aiden? Um, would be capable of the role. I should think you would be well suited to a more demanding occupation. Perhaps the new hydroelectric dam with your father. Oh. I wish you every success in the future endeavors. Uh, kind regards, Sean Boyle. Strange light? Unemployment rates and immigration on the rise. Yikes. Rumors regarding strange lights in the countryside. Oh, it's a package from my father. Oh, maybe he's not dead. Arthur, this is the last of the small crystals. I this hope you're not giving up your job for. I'm still finding the whole notion difficult to believe. I'm tempted to make a trip to your home to see it with my own eyes. But the fact that you keep the generator in your bedroom is quite unsettling, to say the least. If what you say about the lesser crystals is true, then I fear what may happen when this company begins experimenting on the large one. It's still safe for now, but I don't think it'll be possible to smuggle it out of here without anyone noticing. Given the apparent results of your own experiments, it's possible they'll listen to your warning. However, it's more likely they'll see nothing other than the potential for profit. For now, I'll do my best to impede their research. Stay safe, my friend. Nina. The strange crystal was obviously important to my father. Oh, I shit, I... I wonder if I had anything to do with going missing. I decided to do a little snooping around. Okay. Okay. Can I put the mask on myself? Or the gnome? I don't think that would have... Uh, a little mousy! Path to town. No, 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 no! Memorial, let's go. It was Dad's idea to put the memorial stone by the wall. It was on his favorite place to have a picnic. Ah, uh, that must be the mom. No. All right, so we're going to town. Now that I had a lead on my dad's whereabouts, I definitely couldn't leave. Oh, crap. Um. I recently made Put the crystal on his thing. And Arthur's machine. But I still need water. That's an empty jug. Let's see. Hmm. It fits. Huh? It's glowing. Okay. The label on the right indicated the weight of the crystal. Three pounds. Which means it lit up four. Which means that's lit up, whatever that means. So what did it say? Three. Three pounds. Four ohms. And we still need water. 
Let's figure out the water problem. I wonder if it'll let me go back upstairs at all. If I went back up yeah. Wake up, I, did not... I don't see water in here. There's nothing else I can interact with. <laughs> Does anybody see a well here? Because I don't. You don't either. Okay. Oh, 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 shit. All right, hang tight. Maybe he can go here. <laughs> Good to see you, Mac lad. How's your day going? No. Yeah, that's it. My father had notions of turning to farming when he left his job. Hey, it went really good today. We got lots of cool stuff. I needed to fill the jug with water. Yeah, hint. We always got water from the pump in the back garden. This is the front garden. There must be a place I haven't seen yet. <clears throat> There's Arthur's room. Is there a door back? Oh, maybe. It looked like he had rifled through that. Okay, let's hit this button. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. What's that? Rotor blades. Rotor blades at Dad's transmitter were visible from his bedroom window. I don't know how to get to the back garden. Is there another... Hold on, can I... Can I move down here? Oh, oh, there's an arrow down here. God. Damn it, okay. We figured it out. Oh, they're cute. I'll bet this smells awful. It's bigger on the inside. I know, right? Dad's compactable footstool sounded like a great idea. I wasn't sure why it hadn't taken off. Whoa! Love it! Yeah, I broke the bank today. Yeah, I broke the bank today. I only ever saw the transmitter active on a few occasions. I looked at it. I looked Those at the picture. Times, Dad would have kept the shed door locked tight. Thanks for shouting out, Mac Lab. Here's the pump. There was a solid block of wood next to the pump. I needed something to... Okay, you got that. You got that. <laughs> Son of a... The pump handle had snapped, leaving only a small section of it protruding from the pump. It was going to take something heavy to force it down. I've had better ideas. There was a solid block. Dad converted the garden shed into his personal workshop when he decided he wanted to work for himself. He'd normally spend every waking hour in there, inventing, tinkering. But it had been days, and there was no sign of him. Oh, wait, hang on. The receiver attached to the shed received something from the transmitter, which in turn rotated the wheels to move the belt along in order to... Uh, I had no idea. Sometimes I think Dad added contraptions to his contraptions just to throw me off. <laughs> this game is so delightful. I love this game. But something was blocking on the other side. Okay. You're gonna head off, Big Fatty? Have a great one. Are you streaming tonight? It looked like the 
Ark had fallen from its resting place. Don't bonk for how much you spent. No, no, it was approved. <clears throat> The lights in the shed only came on when Dad's generator was running. I hadn't figured out how it worked yet, though. It wasn't your average generator. Cool, what are you streaming tonight? I didn't see a thing. And the idea of walking around a room in the dark, where my father invented things, made me nervous. Escaform, never heard of it. The pitchfork wasn't heavy enough by itself to make the handle budge. Oh, this might be it. <laughs> oh man, man, he sucked that through that stump. Holy smokes. Well, well, well. There it is. There's the pun. Just got translated. Nice. I only ever saw. There, that should keep it cool. I'm not solving this. The whole wall was covered in writing. Huh? It's glowing. The whole wall was covered. I. Does anybody... The notes indicated that the water could be topped up via the funnel. Adding the water seemed to trigger a green light. Okay. Does anybody understand how this correlates with this? You've lost me here, game. I don't, I don't understand advanced math. Especially when it's probably nonsense. You're trying to fill up the green. Yeah, I am. I am. In the last puzzle. Well, I don't know. I don't know what these are or why they matter. So it's five. Five and it resets. This guy. With the machine generating power, there was some writing on the wall made visible by the light of the bulbs. Some of it was obscured by sunlight, though. Okay. I had to admit, some of Dad's inventions really were inspired. <laughs> Aha! Dad had a habit of writing on whatever was nearest at the time. Apparently, he found a way to make sure I didn't clean it. He must have wanted to remember that particular pattern, but what for? Ah, shit. You can't really see it here. It's like... Okay. Three, two, one, two, two. Alright. <laughs> Whatever I did, it caused the machine in the back garden to power up. Amazing. Amazing. Dad was tell apparently, apparently. The 
the machine was receiving power from within the house and was now transmitting something. You're free! Nice! Sure enough, the lights and whatever other equipment Dad constructed were receiving power. I wasn't sure if I was getting any... Aww, little mouse. To him, but it's the best lead I had. Way to go. That is, that is not what I expected to have happen there. There was a 50-50 chance that it was intended to respond to vibration or that it was simply as reliable as the step ladder. Yeah, this is well done. I'm loving this. It was I'm... one of the puzzle boxes my father often made for Lily. It's a hard drive platter? Or a rotary thing. There's a small keyhole in the back, but like many of Dad's devices, its purpose was far from obvious. The machine appeared to be waiting for... something. Mm. Mm. Oh wait, has a map, you have sketches. There's a map on the wall with two locations marked. Our house and the hydroelectric dam where dad used to work. Okay. I think I we need to get Lily to wake up and solve that. Yeah. I had to wake up Lily. We didn't want to take the blame for it. Okay, so we need to go get the dog to wake up Lily. How about that? <clears throat> so we're going to put on that mask and scare the dog and he'll start barking and we're going to get our arms chewed off. Dad didn't like long commutes? Probably. I think it's an elevator. I'm sure it's an elevator. I wanted to give Lily the puzzle box I found, but she was still asleep. What an absolute terror. Sorry you had to take the blame for that one, Dougal. Lily was fearless, even with the way she got out of bed. What a terror. She's she's going to be Pippi Longstocking when she grows up. <clears throat> uh, Lily, does when in doubt, dance it out mean anything to you? Right. Shit. Shit. Okay. Alright. This is a memorization game. How did that dance go again? Up. Down. Legs. Okay. Uh, up. Down, point, and then this one. The Got a key! The turned out to be the solution for the combination lock. Inside the box, there is a small key where the tasty treat should have been. Toodaloo. I'm going to go back to dereliction of that child. This game is delightful. I'm I'm in love with it. <clears throat> it's not too difficult to solve these puzzles. Um, it seems to have a hint system when you need it. 
Hey! What did you think was gonna happen? God, this guy's a dimwit. Oh, maybe it is a transporter. Why does she have the dog's nose, though? Everybody else got a normal so nose. Hungry. Need breakfast. Oh, God. Dad usually got everything ready for breakfast as soon as I woke up. Look, Dougal, everything's laid out already. <clears throat> I can just make it myself. It's porridge. What could go wrong? Big old bag of oats. Prepare to be eaten. Hey, wait a minute. It's empty. <gasps> okay, I can fix this. All I need is a fresh bag of oats, a new bowl, and then to place a pot over the fire. <laughs> oh that dog oh no this is getting so much worse Oh my god. <laughs> Good dog. Good dog. I've never adventured on an empty stomach. I've never adventured on an empty stomach. That breakfast wasn't going to prepare itself. Why didn't Granddad invent something like that? We don't have anything. I need a I need a new bowl for breakfast. <clears throat> Use Dougal with this. Dougal, attack that string. Good. Whoa! <clears throat> this is a good dog. She got a new bowl. We still need to get this. Use Dougal with this. Dougal probably would have fetched the oats if I asked him, but I didn't trust him not to eat them. <laughs> Dougal was pretty smart, but he didn't know how to put together a breakfast. Well, I don't. I've never adventured on an empty stomach. I can't use the ladder. I can't go back there. She has the limited range. She can't wander around. Dog, it's like saving the day. <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> Wait till I hear I did this all by myself. Hang on. Where is Dad? Not that I can interact with. For a 
moment, I wondered where I was. Did he get shorter? I noticed everything was different. I was different. Yeah, yeah. It was when I thought of Lily that it no longer mattered why. I couldn't let her think that she had lost someone else. <clears throat> Somebody had left their belongings on the floor of the strange room. After glancing over the items, I realized some of them belonged to my dad. So, this is where he went. Fascinating. I'll be back here in just a second. I'll run to the restroom. Enjoy some community clips. Toasty and warm. We might have some first time viewers in the audience. Maybe, uh, I'm not gonna read all this. This is way too much. I'll get your medicine when your tummy aches. Build you a fire if the furnace breaks. So oh, it could be so nice growing old with you. to let it just swallow me so I don't have to fucking deal with it anymore. This year. Oh. Dark. Quoi? Mais non. Dark. Mais quoi? Ah, je suis tellement contente. Mais non. Petit 18, ça y est, ta jean. Ah mais... <rire> oh mais non mais c'est tellement un problème Tu sur la permob Mr. V says game voices are quiet. Let's just, just crank everything. Now everything's loud, probably. Dad's pipe had been left behind, and in more pieces than the last time I saw Is that better, Mr. V? No wonder, if his entrance was anything like mine was. Sorry. <clears throat> Among the collection of things, there was a notebook, but I didn't recognize the owner's handwriting. A quick scan showed it to be filled with scientific notation, none of which I could make sense of. Game music was fine where I was at. Okay. <clears throat> it was unusual to see Dad without his hat, and vice versa. But then again, it was noticeably warmer than home. I decided to take it with me. This jar had been left next to the other belongings, emitting a faint white light. Assuming unusual objects to be important seemed like a good rule of thumb, so I picked it up. Cool. Come on, come on. Okay, 
Let's figure this out. Some kind of weird bug over there. Oh, it's gone now. It ran away from my cursor. That was cool. There was a pair of niche panels on one of the walls, each containing an empty spherical socket. There was a pair of... Placing the jar into the left socket had restored basic power to the lab. There was just enough power to distribute to the door release. It was a timed puzzle. There was just enough power to distribute to the door release. All right, so we're out of here. We're out of here. It took a large amount of power to get me here. Logic dictated that it would take something similar to get me home. I was going to have to venture outside to find it. And in the back of my mind, I hoped that I might find my father along the way. Hmm, Dad must have gone to town without telling us. Oh well, time to go to work. I'd only just left the house. Dad had probably already checked. Nobody ever sent us anything interesting anyway. Heroes are good at saving people, but I never got a chance to save her. Oh, she wants to be a hero. So, we meet again. Oh, I like this kid. Back, gnome. <laughs> That's why. A spanner. I took the stretchy rope from the tractor. Every <laughs> adventurer needs rope. to keep me out of danger. It was so annoying. I needed to keep the bone until there was a better better time for bribery. Stretchy rope, maybe dog leash. Leashes get in the way of adventure. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Where do I go? Oh, here we go. She is Pippi Longstocking. We are running away. Can't go that way. Gnome is watching. I thought about doing that, but decided not to. I thought about doing. Can't go that way. Gnome is watching. What do you what What do you want? I'd only just. Okay. There's gotta be more here, huh? Oh, there's a branch. Hang on. Aha. I know what we're doing. We're gonna put the bone up there. Granddad would have been proud of my giant slingshot. Oh, that. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. I needed to be sitting in the slingshot before waving the bone around. Oh, we're really going. Our, we're really going. I wasn't strong enough to pull myself back. We got spoiled. We got a spoiler on that. You fucked up, man. You fucked up, dog. Huh? <laughs> this is great. This is great. Oh, she has her own little shop. Hopefully, we haven't missed any customers. Aw, this is Dad where all. Says we're running out of money. Aww. He's doing his best to find a job. He's probably gone to town for that exact reason. So until then, we've got to do our best to help out. This game fucking rules. I. Breeze. You didn't pay for that. <laughs> <clears throat> Good thing wings can't ride bikes. We have a cape now. And a sword. Wait. If dad's bike is still here, 
Where's he been all morning? I had a bad feeling. And I was pretty sure it had nothing to do with the porridge. Heh. <laughs> With Gnome out of the way, I was free to start looking for Dad. I'd never run away from home. Besides, there was an adventure to be had. Okay. Okay. She she straight fucked that Gnome up, though. Dad had probably nobody ever... So where do I go? Felt like a dream. I was being led down a path, and, short of curling up into a ball, I was helpless to do anything about it. I considered going back inside and just waiting for someone to find me, but I knew that if I wanted to get back to Lily soon, I'd have to find the source of power... So that's his daughter. Here. ...and I wasn't coming back until I found it. What a man, what a cool game. <clears throat> this is the bad idea. It looked like the blue lamp also acted as a door release. You all see that big tentacle thing? It looked like the blue lamp also acted as a door release. Like the blue lamp also acted as a door release. Ah, we got it. <clears throat> and who says they can't make nice point and click adventure games nowadays? I don't say this often, but it wasn't the time for eating. Always the time for eating. I already looked through all wherever he went he took his hand at least that ruled out alien abduction yeah I heard that's a thing that can happen now Ooh, shiny I probably shouldn't touch it Line goes down yeah it keeps you from getting bored I agree with that hey how come when I draw on the walls it's a bad thing Clump, fit, clump, feet, fear, huh? Purple lights. When I find him, I'm going to make Grandad put some over my bed, too. I tried getting Dougal to pick up Grandad's scent. No dice. No dice. Come on, Sir Fuzzlepuff. I'm on a new quest. The A B story format? Well, how do you mean? <clears throat> Dougal, do you think we should have a quick nap? No, no, you're right. Every episode of Next Generation has two stories? Does it really? I had everything I needed. This spinning machine usually only works when Grandad is busy in the shed. Could he be back? I guess I never really thought about it. I wasn't allowed to go into the shed, which made it the best place for playing in. Grandad would pretend he did everything for a reason, but I think he just liked to decorate. Here? The lights were all 
already on. Wow. Adventure I've machine, it's called. Before. <laughs> Normally I jump straight in, but this is something Grandad made. I'm going to need a guinea pig. Godspeed, Sir Puzzle Puff. Travels. His was the most fuzzy. Dougal, this must be where everyone went. What if something happened? I need to go after them. Grandad wouldn't mind me borrowing a little bit of paper. For what? Oh, make a note. Rude. You wait here in case someone comes by. I thought she was going to put it on his collar. She just smashed it into his face. Huh. Oh no! That was the end of the crystal. Hey, Purblind, I'm doing great. How are you? Into the swamp, I began to feel uneasy. From the gnarled and twisted branches of bizarre trees to the clamor of unrecognizable creatures filling the air, it was clear I was a long way from home. You're all right? Pretty busy Friday? Ah, yeah. I've had a very busy day so far. I continue to be busy because we got a news show here in a couple hours with um, uh, with free, free needles. Oh, I meant to mention this. Um, multiplayer this Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific. TechLink's going to host a server of Vononic, which is a... Um, it's a it's a free FPS game. It's a highly modified Quake One engine, but it's like it's very inspired by Unreal Tournament 2004 and Quake Three Arena, and runs like it looks like those games. Um, like it doesn't look like it's the Quake One engine. It's it's an insane modification. Uh, but we'll be playing that. It's really fun. So anybody, Sakura, uh, Toasty, Purblind, if you want, um, Mac Lad, I hope you're there. Sunday at 10. Um, there is a Sunday multiplayer channel in the Discord. We haven't done this for almost a year. Like it's it's been a it's been a while. The more the merrier. <clears throat> You're in. Awesome. You forgot if you acknowledge you get to the I still
I got up here and did this one, right? I did do that one? This should have been what I needed to do. Toasty, there's no way that's correct. There's no way. There's no way that 10 a.m. Pacific is 7 a.m. Eastern. It should be like 1, 1 p.m. for you, yeah. You have it backwards, you goober. <laughs> I was like, you moved to Hawaii, or, uh... Great. Man, I ain't making nobody get up at 7 a.m. Except for my wife and dog. It's been a long last week. Hey, there's only, like, so many things I can do here. All right, I think I got it. I think I figured it out. I think I know what to do now. Yo, free needles. First, first trimester. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you were in Texas, that'd be a... Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much for that sub. I did not hear the sound effect for that. Out of wedlock and everything. Yeah, Texas is not going to like that. All right, I figured this out. Here at uh, here at in like 18 minutes, I gotta sign off and go get ready for news show. <clears throat> we'll keep playing until then. I'm in love with this game. Anybody uh, anybody see how long this game takes to beat? So wait, I did, expected her to be bigger. Does she get smaller? Cause dude got smaller. Oh my god, I'm adorable. I couldn't wait to see what dad looked like. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how long this takes to beat. Two hours. That's it. Yeah. For completionists. Okay, this is not a long game. Very short. Okay. Y'all want to see all of this game, right? This is granddad stuff. I knew it. <clears throat> okay. This is granddad stuff. I knew it. His sacrifice will never be forgotten. Jesus. She's hardcore. Somebody had made some holes in the wall. Usually, holes in the wall meant Grandad was working. The machine I came out of wasn't the same machine. <sighs> How's she gonna solve all these puzzles? Like, we kinda wrecked them for the next person. 
All right. Oh, this is the guy. Hopefully we're done. My apologies. I don't see many like you. Who... who are you? Meh... Meh? No, just Meh. I'm not sure where I am. Can you help me get home? Maybe help each other? Come, sit. Story time. Maybe. Or not. Oh. <clears throat> I want to live here. Please don't make me solve all these puzzles again. That would just be bad. Damn, she totally wrecked that thing. <clears throat> My sword was mighty, but I need. Oh, oh, tongue. Oh, shit, it's happening. I right, ordered it. <laughs> Okay. Got it. Was... F. F's in chat for Lily. She's gone. My people lived here once long ago. They had machines kept us warm, safe. Now I am alone, and the machines not work. Well. That's, That's a cool look, bug. But if I do, will you help me get home? By <clears throat> fixing machine, you return home. So it's the same generator that powers the lab. Okay, show me. Follow. <laughs> um. A ramshackle wooden dwelling <clears throat> lay at the edge of the swamp. Presumably it was where Mare lived. Presumably. Toolbox was a single peculiar glove. What is this? Whoa! Careful. <sighs> Sorry. What the hell? Y'all saw what I clicked, right? Does this radio also belong to my father? I wondered why he thought it would work so far from home. <clears throat> A skittish indigenous creature was sitting on the flat surface in front of the pool. Dude. Did you just come in here and fart? Holy shit, dog. I love you, but wow, that is frank. So rude, buddy. So rude. Yes. I know. Who would do that? Who would do that? Not you. Not the most beautiful dog in the world. Who just wants his ears scratched. Yeah. Good boy. You know what that? Smells like you do.
I'm just standing here like, what the fuck is that smell? It's awful. Putrid. And then like the dog knows me in my leg and I'm like, oh. He's just looking at me like, <laughs> There was a large bulbous plant blocking a pipe at the top of the stairs. It felt like it was full of water. This plant grosses me out a little bit. I don't think that would have helped. Somehow, a bluish light was emanating from some of the cracks in the wall. Engraved into one of the walls was a scene of worship. The object of their adoration looked like a hole in the sky. A 4x4 grid of small cubes lay at the bottom of the pool. I presumed it would display the pattern to Dal home, but I wasn't sure how. From what I could see, Mare wasn't going to get very far without a power source. Long way back there. Long way back. <clears throat> what is this place? Sacred place. History and future. Your people wrote this? Always been here. And then your people left? When? One hundred years? More? A hundred years? Hey, this looks like my father's toolbox. It is his toolbox. So he's been here. Have you seen him? I... You have? Where is he? Took crystal. Stole crystal. Then left. It's Arthur's a dick, huh? Where did he go? Whoever had made the engravings appeared to understand the concept of traveling to other worlds like I had. They also appeared to place a lot of value in doing so. Whoever had made the... They also appeared... In one corner of the room were several flowers laid out in a grid pattern. There was something familiar about it. Hmm. It's not accepting the same pattern as last time. I need to find the pattern for home somehow. Shit. I, yeah, yeah, I just tried. I just tried. <clears throat> that was my first guess. You know what? This thing right here. I don't think that. This thing right here. Mm. A skittish indigenous creature was. I need it to move. There's like a. There we go. Ah. In front of the pool of shells. I would have guessed at a ceremonious function, but the entire structure appeared to have purpose. I've had better ideas. I've had better. What? A 4x4 grid of small cubes lay. I presumed it would display the pattern to Dal Home. What, what, why did that, what, what? I guess that's what I was supposed to do, but I don't understand what it what did. I could see. Without a power source. So we got this power glove. Hmm, not enough power. I've had better. <clears throat> I've had better. I don't know why the hat went there. I really don't. I 
don't think that would have helped. I've had better ideas. I don't think that... Somehow, a bluish light was... Em busy tinkering with the pedestal's mechanisms. I imagine the ancient machines were the only thing that kept him occupied. Mayor appeared to be using my father's toolbox, although he wouldn't ex I didn't want to press the issue. My main goal was getting out of there. Hmm. hmm. Anybody else see anything I'm missing here? I don't- we can't go back. We gotta figure out this plan. It's gotta be this plan. It's the only thing we haven't really solved. This is Stargate. Oh, you did? I don't think that would have helped. Hey, enjoy your lurk. I've had better ideas. I hear sounds somewhere else in the level. It sounds like it's coming out of this year. <clears throat> Engraved into one of the walls was the scene of worship. The object of their adoration looked like a hole in the sky. Somehow, a bluish light was emanating from some of the cracks in the wall. Somehow, a I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Mare was busy. I am. Hold on. The scene of worship over here. No. Wait. Hold on. Okay, time for a hint. The blue light looked interesting. Solution? Use the glove on the blue light. What, this light? I, I did that! Somehow, a bluish light was emanating from some of the cracks in the wall. Maybe I need to be up here to do it. Maybe I need to be up here to do it. That's the blue light, right? Use the glove on the blue light. Am I not catching it at the right moment when it pulses? Somehow, I don't get it. Use the glove on the blue light. What blue light? I feel like I'm bugged out here. Yeah, but I can't get to that. I've had better ideas. I can't get to that. Oh, 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 oh! There's a thing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. This might be it. Somehow, a bluish light was. How do I get? So this is up. Engraved into one of the up. I don't think that would have. 
Somehow, a bluish light was emanating from some of the cracks in the wall. This thing right here? Purple flower has an orange thingy on it? Yeah, but nothing I can... Yeah, I know, but we can't do anything with that. Yeah, yeah, I can't do anything with that. Tried a dozen times. Well, not a dozen. At least four, though. Yeah, it's three o'clock, so I gotta run. I want to solve this, though. See, I, this is all I can do. And I don't know. Nothing I do with it helps. I don't think that would have helped. I feel like I'm missing a tool. I don't think that would have helped. Somehow, a blue... <clears throat> I feel like I'm missing a tool for this one. Wait. No. Engraved into the object of their adoration. I just can't. I just can't reach this. Somehow, a bluish light was emanating from some. All right. <clears throat> we should be saved here. We'll continue this at some point. Um, I'm not sure when, but I think we can. I think we can finish this. Um, we're pretty far along, honestly. About halfway through, at least. Um, but I need to go. I need to go get set up. Oh, here's this. Oh shit. I'm glad I found that. I need to go get set up for uh, for a news show here. So I'll be back in an hour uh, with free needles. Take a shout out for free needles here real quick. Um, and I don't need this computer. This computer can go. All right, shut down. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Appreciate everybody being here. Hey, Stock. Thanks for being here. And Toasty and Sakura and Nukem. And everybody else. Mr. V. Let's see who we're going to raid here. Yeah, I'll talk to you in like half an hour here. Uh, Needles. Just going to get set up real quick and then we'll be in voice chat. Yo! So Toasty said, Nukem Quad 9, who's doing the Chex Quest remake, which honestly sounds pretty good. Let's do that. We'll go hang out over. Ooh! But, 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 but Sean is playing his game, Final Fantasy 16. Sean doesn't stream that often. We're going to Sean. Let's go to Sean. We're going to Sean. We're going to Sean. Um, Sean is streaming, which is super rare. And uh, he got his game released yesterday, and he took the week off from work. Uh, so we're gonna go check in on the new Final Fantasy, because uh, this is this is Sean's thing. Go. Yeah, Sean Beanlo, of course. I'm yeah, he must have today off because he's streaming at three o'clock. Wonder how long he's been streaming. Has he been he been going for a while? Sixteen minutes, so alright, that's where we're headed. Alright, I love y'all. I'll see you in an hour. Have fun with Sean. Just remember this is like Sean is like the Final Fantasy fan. Uh so this is this is super hype. Alright. I'll see y'all in an hour. Have a great one. Uh there we go. <clears throat> Yo, Hammock, welcome.